Okay, we're, we're at Dock and Roll Radio here live at Soho Radio and joining us in the studio is Nina. How are you doing, Nina? Hi, very ha good. Happy New Year. Happy New Year! How I know, 2020, a new decade. Exactly. Uh, so, um, you are a contributor to Rise of the Saints, which is one of the films that Dock and Roll has been screening. I was uh, fortunate enough to be at the premiere of the film. So, how did you come to be involved with the film in the first place? Um, I think they actually got in touch with my uh, label. <clears throat> and um, yeah, and they just kind of said, oh, we, we love Nina, we've been following her, she would be perfect for our documentary, you know, talking about synthwave music and, and the whole thing. And um, so and they kind of explained everything and I was like, I definitely want to be part of this. This is like amazing, you know, like I want to talk about my experience and why I'm involved in it and why I'm so passionate about it and, you know, the community and stuff. So yeah, they just got in touch with us. And okay. And the, the film was crowdfunded and... It's it, it compared to some film documentaries, which obviously are cut together. They're by true fans that are cut together on a shoestring of a budget. This film is not like that. This film is you know it looks amazing. It's got beautiful eighties neon washed colors. Mm -hmm. It's got a DeLorean, to, I, which I, I love DeLoreans. It's got some <laughs> great. Who doesn't love DeLoreans? <laughs> it's got some great music. So it looks like it's such an impressive looking film. Um, were, were you glad at how it turned out in the end? Oh my god, I'm I'm so proud of the guys. Like, and I know it's been a long time coming and everything, but they did such a good job. And like the narrative of um, uh, John Carpenter as well was like just incredible. Like the things he said was just exactly like how we all feel. And uh, yeah, visually incredible. Just just the whole thing. Very very proud to be part of it. And I got a bit emotional watching it in the cinema um, in November when we watched it. Um, and I was just like bursting with pride and so yeah I think it's a really good thing for the community and I feel like it's like this this next little step that we need for for it to kind of just grow and be a bit more known maybe hopefully but I think it will so cool yeah. you mentioned briefly that John Carpenter in the film so for those who are not familiar with uh, John Carpenter he's the legendary film director some of those films are the Thing, Halloween, Salt and Precinct 13, there's so many classics of his. So he narrates this film and he's, you know, the, the voice, the sagely voice in the background of this film. It's just fantastic to have somebody who's just so influential and such a brilliant musician mm. involved with the film. Yeah, for sure. I think um, he is such a huge inspiration for like so many of us like growing up. And um, my favorite movies, like horror movies growing up, was definitely The Thing in the Fog. So it's like, okay, 100%, like I literally brilliant. watched them when I was like six. Like my parents were like, are you crazy? But it was like, you know, I was so into it. So yeah, I just felt like it was so magical to like, um, you know, I, I would have loved to actually meet him in person. Like I actually saw his um, show in London, was it like one or two years ago? That's and then suddenly it. this documentary comes out with him narrating it. It was just kind of like bizarre and amazing at the same time. So close, so yeah, close, so close, but it's not so nice to have that conversation. <laughs> yeah.